Hey guys, it's Frank from PBH, and in this video we're going to be talking about our all new 5 liter Coyote hot water tubes and how they can help you simplify your Coyote cooling system. So in a factory Coyote cooling system, and we're gonna be talking about, let's say, our 2011 to current production Mustangs, you're gonna see you have a degas bottle. Now that degas bottle is actually something Ford has used on all the modular Ford V8s, starting from 1996 all the way to the current production right now. Now for Mustangs that are older than 96 or more conventional vehicles dating back through the years, you're gonna have a radiator cap that has a 16 PSI pressure relief. Also it's gonna have a nipple right on the neck that then runs into your catch can for the cooling system. So in those older vehicles that have a conventional pressure relief cap with a catch can, you don't need the degas bottle. And if you don't have to put it in the car, it's just gonna clean up the engine bay that much more. So the easy, simple solution is just remove the degas bottle, right? Well, you end up with a bunch of ports on the engine and a bunch of hoses that you're not gonna be using. And in some cases, pretty confused as far as what you're gonna be doing with those ports and how to seal them off or omit them all together. Now, like we mentioned earlier in the video, once you remove the degas bottle from the cooling system, you're gonna have a couple ports that you need to address. Now, the first one we're gonna look at is gonna be on the radiator. So it's gonna be the connection between the radiator and the degas bottle. Well, with the degas bottle out of play, in most cases, you're not using the Coyote radiator, you're gonna be using the radiator that you already have in your chassis, maybe it's an older Mustang or an F100, that radiator has a conventional pressure relief cap and then it has a coolant recovery tank attached to the water neck. So that means that you really don't have to make any modifications here because once you get rid of the degas bottle and you're not using that Coyote radiator, you're done. The next port's gonna be in the valley of the engine on a hot water neck that connects from the thermostat housing to the driver's side cylinder head. Now that water neck has a nipple sticking out of the top of it that then goes and connects to your degas bottle. And we're gonna show you later in this video how to get rid of that and actually make it into a bleed report with another product that we just released. The most important one and the hardest one to deal with is gonna be the hot water tubes on the front of the engine. Now there's two of them, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Well, one on the passenger side goes straight to the cylinder head, one on the driver's side is part of the water pump. Now they both bolt down, have O-rings to seal them up, but the one on the driver's side has two major ports on it. Now we're gonna keep one of them but the one that faces forward, the one that aims right at the radiator, that's the port that we don't need and we need to get rid of. Now the typical delete or modification that we see done is just a hot water cap, some sort of a bypass cap you put on the front of it and you put a hose clamp on it and you're done. We've seen some folks take the hot water tubes off, cut them down, remove them from the, that section from the pipe and then weld it back together. And we've actually seen some folks fill that with silicone and uh, say it was done as well. Now, all three of these are viable options, but realistically, they could lead to more issues down the road. They proved to be a little bit unreliable. And at the end of the day, it could be a little bit unsightly on the engine itself. So what you're gonna have now is a set of custom hot water tubes for your five liter Coyote that get rid of that forward facing port on the driver's side and allow you to use conventional heater hoses to finish your hot water system. So let's look specifically at that hot water tube on the driver's side. It's gonna have those two ports. The one that aims up is gonna go back to your heater core. The one that faces forward goes to the degas bottle. And that's the one that we're gonna be concentrating on removing by replacing it with the PBH Coyote hot water tubes. The hot water tubes come set up for a 5 8 heater hose and the driver's side one has a larger bore than the passenger side. If you put them side by side, you're gonna notice that right away. The reason we do that is in a factory Coyote cooling system, the heater hose on the passenger side has a built-in restrictor. So we're mimicking that restrictor by making the inside diameter of the passenger side tube the same diameter as the restrictor in the factory cooling system. What this means for you is on your heater hose, you no longer have to cut it and put a restrictor in line. Each hot water tube kit is gonna come with both the driver's side and passenger side tube and the fastening hardware along with the O-rings to seal them up. Now we'd also mentioned in the beginning of the video about a nipple or a barb fitting that's in the valley of the engine. Now there's a hot water neck 
that's located attached to the driver's side cylinder head in the valley of the engine itself. And you'll see that there's a nipple sticking straight up in the air right out of the top of it. Now that nipple has a hose that connects to it that then goes to the degas bottle as part of the degas bottle's function. It's no longer gonna be needed. So the simple solution is to cap it off and call it a day. Again, that could prove to give you some unreliable resorts down the road. And at the same time, it's fairly unsightly because now you just have this big rubber cap with a hose clamp on it right in the middle of the engine sitting front and center. Now ideally what you'd wanna do here is just get rid of that port altogether. You can remove the water neck, weld it shut, you can use it to put a water temp sender there if you wanted to as well. But really, one of the better uses for that spot is to put a bleeder screw to make sure you can get all the air out of the engine in the case that you have some air that's popping in there or getting stuck in the cooling system itself. Not a normal problem to have on a Coyote, it's usually not an issue, but just in case, it'd be nice to have a bleeder screw there instead of just capping that off. So what PBH has come up with is a bleeder screw kit with a tap to go ahead and help you get that done. And we're gonna show you here in a second how to do that on the bench. You can also opt to do this on the engine itself, but it is recommended that you remove the water neck from the engine, do this on the bench, make sure you don't get any aluminum, any debris falling into your cooling system that could cause issues down the road. So here is how you can remove that nipple and replace it with a bleeder screw. Now, once we have the water neck off, we're gonna place the water neck upside down in a set of vice jaws. And you wanna clamp down that nipple as hard as you can, even crush it if you have to. And once you do that, you can actually work the water neck housing back, forth, left to right, and you'll see that it'll free up finally. Once you get it freed up and moving around, just tug up on the water neck itself, and it'll pull the nipple right out of the port. Once it's out of there, all you have to do is clean up the area a little bit. You wanna go ahead and put the water neck on a sturdy surface or in the vise itself like we're doing here in the video and go ahead and grab that eighth 27 tap that we include in the kit. Now there's no reason to drill out this housing any more than it already is. It's actually the exact size you need for an eighth 27 tap. Once you have it squared up, go ahead and apply the tap, run it all the way down through so you can make sure you have good engagement all the way down through the port and then clean up the area, make sure you don't have any debris in the threads. Once that's done, go ahead and grab the new bleeder screw and apply it to the hole. Go ahead and start it by hand and just grab a corresponding wrench and tighten it up. Now that bleeder screw does have some Loctite already into the actual threads itself, so you don't have to worry about putting anything extra on there. Just drive it all the way down to your comfortable. Don't over tighten it or strip it. Just make sure it's nice in there snug, has good engagement. Once that's done, you can see that you have a bleeder nipple right at the top of the water neck. And when you go to do your cooling system purge, your initial one in particular, you should be able to open that up and make sure you get all the air out of it. So to recap a little bit on exactly what this hot water tube kit is giving you, it's giving you the opportunity to route the cooling system properly by getting rid of some of the ports that you're not gonna need in the case that you're not gonna be using a degas bottle on your cooling system. The guys that are gonna be in this position are guys using a conventional radiator that has a pressure relief cap on it and then has a catch can or tank for any of the overflow from the radiator. So if you're looking to clean up the engine bay or maybe spaces at a premium, getting rid of that degas bottle is a really good option for you. PBH offers a hot water tube kit as part number PBH 643 in our catalog. It retails for $94.99. It's gonna come with both hot water tubes, O-rings and the corresponding hardware to fasten it to the engine. We also offer a set of heater hoses that you can purchase with the hot water tubes. They are $45.99. What's important about those is they don't have the quick disconnect fitting at the end of them like the factory ones, since that's not gonna be compatible with the new hot water tubes. These heater hoses are 48 inches length. They have a 90 degree bend built into the hose and they come with hose clamps as well. Now, if you're looking to go ahead and put that bleeder screw in the water neck like we had earlier in the video, we have a kit listed along with the hot water tubes. It's $13.99. It's gonna come with both the tap and the bleeder screw as a kit. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that subscription button and hit that notification button as well. That's very important to our analytics and make sure that you get these videos as soon as they come out. If you go to our website, which is pbhperformance.com, on there you can sign up for our newsletter and take a look at our blog that we release new information out all the time with new products and new projects. Thank you again for watching. We can't do it without your support. Make sure you hit that subscription button, hit that notification button, and we'll catch you on the next video.